determining the slope and deflection at B and C. E is 200 gigapascals and I 400 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. At point C, use Castigliano's second theorem and at B, use virtual work method. Here is the cantilever beam. So let's have C by Castigliano's theorem. Let's apply counterclockwise copal as shown in this figure. And let's select this as our sections, two sections only. Take note that the moment of inertia of AB is 2i. So in this section, the derivative is C. The moment is C minus 12x integral of EI. EI theta C is integral 0 to of C minus 12x times 1. Derivative of C minus 12x with respect to couple is 1 dx. Then plus integral of C minus 12 times 2 plus x minus 20 times x times x over 2 or minus 10 x square. And the derivative of this with respect to C is 1. Then the entire expression is divided by 2 because in this section, AB has moment of inertia of 2i. Two, two so we divide by 2 and i is already here. So prior to integration, we set C0. So integral of negative 12x times 1 dx is negative 24. This one, C0, so negative 12, 2 plus x minus 10x squared times 1 over 2. 0 to 3 is negative 108. Combining, theta C is negative 132 over EI. Since EI is 200 gigapascals times I 400 times 10 to the 6 or 200 uh, times 10 to the 6 kilopascals times 400 times 10 to the 6 over 1000 to the 4th, the result is 80,000 meter square. So we divide this by 80,000. Theta C is negative 132 over 80,000, so theta C is negative 1.65 times 10 to the negative 3 regions. Next, we remove C and apply upward force P. Same sectioning, so EI delta C is equal to integral from 0 to 2 of P times X minus 12X. Then the derivative is X dx with respect to P. Then plus integral p times 2 plus x minus 12 times 2 plus x or p minus 12 times 2 plus x then minus 10 x square then the derivative of this expression is p times derivative of p times 2 plus x is 2 plus x that's why we have 2 plus x here then the entire integral divided by 2 Prior to integration, this is 0, so integral of negative 12x squared, 0 to 2 is negative 32. So this is set 0, integral of negative 12, 2 plus x minus 10x squared, 2 plus x over 2, 0 to 3 is negative 425.25. Combining, delta C is negative 457.25 over EI, negative 457.25 over 80 to convert it automatically to mm. So delta C is negative 5.716 mm. Because we divide by 80,000, that would be in meter. So we also multiply by 1,000. So 1,000 over 80,000 is 80, 1 over 80. And this is in mm. Then for virtual work method, so that's the same sectioning due to actual loads, then we apply counterclockwise unit couple one at B rather. We have virtual work at B. So in this section the there's no virtual force considering the right for simplicity. So that's xx, so ei theta b is equal to 0 to 2 of negative 12 x times 0 dx. There's no c here, or there's no loading. Plus integral from 0 to 3 of negative 12, we copy this, 
12, 2 plus x minus 10, x squared over 2. Then, two to virtual four, so a positive one, dx. So integrating using your calculator there, that's zero, and this is negative 108. So theta b is negative 108 over 80,000. Convert it automatically to regions. So theta b negative 1.35 times 10 to the negative 3 regions. So we remove the unit couple, replace it by up, upward force 1. So ei delta b equals 0, negative 12x, 0 dx, then plus integral 0 to 3 of, of negative 12, 2 plus x minus 10x squared, copy, copy this, then divide by 2, the, the due to unit couple, the moment here is 1 times x, which is that. So using the calculator, 0, then this one is negative 209.25. Therefore, delta b is negative 209.25 divided by 80 to convert it to mm or that is in meter then times 1000 mm per meter so we have negative 2.616 mm